Hi, hello everybody. This is Timothy Joshua C. Pagan. I'll be discussing to you about the marketing information system. Okay? So, the marketing information system supports the marketing uh, manager in decision making. Since such a uh, marketing is directed towards the promotion and sale of some product through some strategic network of distribution channels, uh, a marketing information is expected to deliver uh, information uh, regarding uh, product, place, promotion, and pricing. These are the four P's in marketing. A good mix of product, place, promotion, and pricing can settle a company to better performance. Okay, so let's talk about uh, this figure. So this shows the different subsystem in a marketing information system uh, let's discuss uh, each of these subsystems so these are the input subsystems okay the input sub uh, input subsystem provides data needed to support marketing decision in an input uh, subsystem data immediately accessible to the company such as those regarding salesperson sales and products and data from the environment uh, such as those about customers competitors are gathered by different subsystem with, within the input subsystem uh, these are the subsystems are called the data processing subsystem the marketing uh, research subsystem and the marketing intelligence subsystem so we go now to the first uh, subsystem. So the first is the data processing subsystem. The data processing subsystems uh, keeps among others data on salespersons, sales areas, products, and sales. As a result, so these are the report that we can make on uh, data processing subsystems. For example, I need a report on the uh, monthly sales made by each sales area last year. Another is show me the, the names of 10 salesperson who made the most sales January of this year. How far are we from our target year-end sales? How many of each product has been sold since 1996? Uh, I would like to see the trend of annual sales for the past 12 years in a line graph. So these are uh, some of the report that we can extract from a data processing subsystem. Okay, now we go to the next subsystem. It's called the marketing research sub subsystem. So it focuses on the identification and profiling of consumers and prospective consumers. Data on consumer needs and wants help. Uh, management decides what products to develop for the market. Uh, as for example, consumer become more health conscious, management may decide on introducing food products that are very low in fat. Okay? So, on the other hand, when management finds out that 90% of men and 80% of women wear denims, it put denims production into consideration. Okay, so this data uh, generated by the subsystem can be cut categorized into a primary data and secondary data. So the primary data are data directly gathered by the organization through survey and observation. So survey may be done in the form of personal interviews, telephone interviews, or mailed uh, questionnaires. Other may prepare to record store activity through uh, video camera. Data thus gathered may be subjected to analysis through some uh, market uh, research software. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, data gathered by someone else from the organization are called the secondary data. For instance, an organization may not have enough resource to, ser uh, to survey to find out how many of the men and women in the area were denims. So the services of the other organization that sells service 
may be the uh, top to perform the survey. Okay. So we go now to uh, the marketing uh, intelligence subsystem. So the marketing uh, intelligence subsystems allow an organization to position itself in the competition by performing some uh, espionage. So here in our example, on our figure, it all starts with uh, data uh, collection. Buying and studying a sample of compet competitor product, visiting out used by competitors as dis distribution channels to note prices, and attending uh, product launchings are among many activities that carried out uh, to collect data. Okay, these are in the environment and this data are collected. So data, primary and secondary, uh, secondary are then evaluated for accuracy. Uh, and then uh, data with acceptab acceptable accuracy are subjected to uh, analysis okay uh, the result which can call an intelligence uh, the intelligence is then stored in a database that is uh, made available to people in the organization online so among many issues that may be addressed in implementation of a marketing intelligence subsystem is whether a centralized and a decentralized subsystems okay so when we say centralized subsystem when the subsystem is centralized uh, duplication of effort is minimized in other words it will minimize the chance of everyone buying a sample of the competitor product or the everyone meeting the same product launching with data centralized in available online throughout the organization, a more complete view of overall situation can be achieved. So, since a centralized subsystem handles consider considerably a large volume of data, filtering may be resorted to, or such data may be seem unimportant to top management level, but extremely critical people to field may be weeded out. So while on the centralized subsystem, a decentralized subsystem on the other hand scatters into units that handle smaller amounts of data. So this filtering uh, from being necessitated, however, it runs uh, the risk of duplication. It also opens up to for personal grudges to get in the way of information sharing. Okay. And then, so those are the subsystems uh, of a marketing uh, information system. So in conclusion, so these are the summary. And then, there. So thank you. Uh, that will be my, uh, all my report. So the next topic will be discussed by Mr. Wayne Won. It's about the uh, output subsystem. So thank you. Bye.